Hello guys, this is Micha and you are watching a quick video recap of our latest blog tutorial where we cover the making of glitch hi-hat sequence. Today popular music genres like trap and drum and bass make extensive use of the glitch drums with the focus on the hi-hats. In the next tutorial we will show you how to achieve this without painstakingly chopping and slicing out the events. Let's take a look at the Soundbridge project in front of us and hear the full mix with processed hi-hat. By clicking on the hi-hat channel, you can see a couple of effects added on the effect track. The first of them is Effect Tricks by Sugar Bytes, which is a multi-effect with a built-in sequencer, as you can see here. On the left side, you can see several different effects sorted vertically, where every row of the sequencer at the right corresponds to one of the effects marked by a different color. Here I have used uh, effects like X-Loop, Tonal Delay, Reverse, among others to make this sequence. Let's hear it in solo. The second effect used to make this hi-hat sequence even more interesting is M-Comb by Melda. M-Comb is essentially a comb filter whose interface and parameters we covered in detail in one of our previous tutorials, so we won't uh, do that again now. With Tamcomp, I have just automated the frequency and feedback parameters, which gives a kind of a metallic feeling and sounds like a delay and flanger joined together. I hope you will find this technique interesting and for the full blog article please visit our website at soundbridge.io.